Hey guys, okay, so today I want to talk to you about setting goals. Uh, so I know a lot of us get into this business and people wonder, okay, so what are your goals? That's the main question everybody asks. And we have kind of an idea, okay, our goal is we want to get out of debt. Or our goal is to book three parties or our goal is to fill up our calendar or whatever the case may be for you. Um, but are you actually writing down your goals? So do know there is a difference between your dreams and your goals. Your dreams are things that are actually still in your head. You're dreaming about it. That's why, you know, when you go to sleep at night, you have dreams and they're in your head. However, a goal when you write it down, then becomes a plan. You're actually working towards it. It's not just in your mind and in la la land. So it's super duper important, uh, which is why a lot of the top leaders um, always say you need to see your goal. You need to have it in front of you. You need to do a goal board. You need to have something up. Um, so that people can actually, so you can stay focused pretty much. Um, so when you set your goal, there are actually three different sections that you want to do for your goal. So first of all, you want to write everything down. I challenge you to come up with a hundred dreams that you want. Okay. A hundred. And it could be something big, something little. One of mine is to have, um, bra strap length hair. When I press it out, my hair looks short, but it's actually about here. Um, when I do press it out. So I want bra strap length hair. Uh, so I wrote that down. Um, I also would love to have an organizer come in and organize my office. That's another uh, goal of mine that I would like or a dream. So sky's the limit. You keep writing until you can't think of it anymore. And if you want to challenge yourself to do 100, uh, do 100. Once you get there, there this is where you're going to start to um, categorize what you wrote down so the first category are your long-range goals these are your dreams stuff that you want to accomplish 10 15 20 40 60 years down the line these are your forever dreams so um think about if your dream is to uh win the lottery Put that in your long range goals, okay? It's not something that you necessarily want to accomplish right now. It's just something that you eventually would love to do. Um, the next category are your short range goals. These are your goals that you want to complete today, tomorrow, next week, within 2016. Those are your short range goals. So if it's promote to senior consultant by March, win the Cancun incentive, that is a good short range goal. Uh, clean your room, do some laundry, whatever that is, go ahead and put that in your short range goal. And the last category is your economic goal. So if it's to get out of debt, if it's to buy a home, uh, buy a car, uh, have an emergency fund, then that's what all those things you want to put in your economic goal. Okay, so once you have those things written down, you then want to take three to five of your short range um, and about two, about two or three of your economic range, your, your um, long range, you're going to keep it, you're going to keep it there. We're going to use it in a little bit, but we're going to focus on the short range and the economic um, range goal first. So take about three to five and you're going to then write out a plan. Okay. So if your short range goal is to win Cancun, then what you need to do is build a plan on that. Okay. So first things first, what's your um, what's your sales like? What are your sales average right now? Are you at $400 per party? Usually your average, what is your per person? Um, so, and how much with, based on your, uh, party average, that's how much you need to do each month to hit your goal. 
how is your sponsoring okay so based off of depending on if you are director or above or your consultant to senior director i mean senior consultant um you have to figure out how many ladies you are going to um sponsor so if you are working on the cancun go and you are consultant to senior consultant you need four girls active by march so where some people are like okay so that's about one to two actually i want you to bump it up to two to three because you want to be able to have wiggle room for the ladies that aren't necessarily activating when you want them to uh, so give it some wiggle room some may buy the deluxe kit some may buy the um, smaller standard kit so you want to give it that wiggle room so two to three in january two to three in february and two to three in march as well so let's say you did you know your two each one so that's six girls you went over but you only need four to activate to hit the contest but you still have added six girls you can add anywhere from six to nine girls which is awesome because then that also bumps you up to director okay so that's that's just an example of a short range and writing down your plan um as you accomplish each short range and economic it's like checking it off the list. And when you check it off the list, you're gonna then look at your long range goal and you're gonna say, okay, so what's next on this list do I wanna accomplish? And you're gonna add it to either your short range or to your um, economic goal. And that's pretty much how you work on your goals. And make sure you write them down, ladies. I know so many people are like, I got it, it's in my head, I already know what I want but it's just that it is in your head as well as so many other things that you have going on kids uh, the spouse work that biatch on the job getting on your nerves you trying to quit your job the news Facebook scandal how to get away with murder all of these things are jumbled around in our head and so while we actually do have a goal in mind we get squirrely and we forget but if you have it right in front of you it's actually going to be really helpful because it will keep you on your goal if you can see my office right now it is filled with post-its all over the place of different quotes that i have or why i deserve to hit this goal or you know how many sales i need i am away from hitting this goal or whatever and it keeps me motivated and keeps my mind going so think of it like this and i talked to my team about this at our re uh, recent meeting and it was a light bulb moment even for me because i had just thought about it when you go to the grocery store or to target or to the store period you usually write a list if you don't write that list what happens you go into the store blind your mind is on okay i need to buy eggs i need to buy milk i need to buy bananas and you walk into the store like I did this morning, going to get an umbrella and a raincoat for my son and found all of these goodies in the dollar section for booking games. Um, so you go in the store and you're like, oh, look, stuff for booking games. This is awesome. And you're putting it in your cart and then you're walking. Oh, look, this is a cute outfit. And you put that in your cart. And oh, look, oh, cards. I definitely need to get some cards so I can send out thank you notes to everybody. You put that in your cart and you're like, OK, oh, look, it's late. I got to get out of here to get to my next errand or get home to get the kids. And you go to the line, you check out and you're feeling good because you found all this stuff and you sit in the car and you're like shit I forgot to buy milk eggs and bananas your whole purpose your whole goal a goal is nothing but a purpose and your whole purpose is out the window because you didn't write it down and you didn't stick to the list now if you added those extra things but you actually stuck to the list then it's okay but you need to be able to stick to the list so make your list write it out I have mine right here um, this is my dream book and I have any and everything all everything that I want to do my list my goals my dreams my desires um, and then as I accomplish it I check it off and I add the next thing so hopefully this will help you set your goals I would love 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 for you to comment below what a goal is for you and let's stick to it let's do it have a great day ladies